Troy has been telling us Central Florida is experiencing extreme heat with feels like temperatures set to get as high as 108. Now one local county is taking steps to keep people safe, activating its extreme weather plan. New Six's, New Six's Mark Lehman joins us live from Seminole County this morning. And part of that plan, Mark, includes relief centers for those who need to get out of the heat. Yes, and one of those centers is here behind me, the Castleberry Library, where everyone can come in, cool off, and drink some water. Officials saying precautions like this are definitely needed with the dangers that come with these high temperatures. We just come down here because, you, know, you know, it's very hot. As temps have been soaring up, people across Central Florida have been looking for ways to cool down. I'm new to Florida, so this heat is something different. I'm not used to this because, you know, I'm from upstate New York. And with the heat index expected to reach 108 degrees, Seminole County Emergency Management is activating its extreme weather plan. So it's really important for people to continue to drink water and have water available to everybody. Chris Hamm with the Rescue Outreach Mission says dehydration becomes a big issue. With an 8% increase in homelessness since 2019, the heat puts an added strain on resources. For those who are living in their cars, who are living in tents, with the heat index being so high, it's extremely dangerous. To help, Seminole County says they have emergency shelters on standby if an assisted living facility loses electricity or air conditioning. Public libraries and county parks with staff are also open to the public as cooling shelters. All of this comes as nearly 90 million Americans are under heat alerts with triple digit feels like temperatures in parts of at least 10 states. Officials are urging everyone to carry extra water and they're reminding pet owners about the dangers of walking their dogs on hot pavement. As for Seminole County's extreme weather plan, we've laid out all of those measures under this story on ClickOrlando.com. For now, reporting live in Castleberry, Mark Lehman getting results News 6. Mark, thanks. Meantime, bad weather in other parts of the country is causing problems for airline passengers. Already hundreds of flights have been canceled for today, including nearly two dozen in Orlando. That follows over 2,600 cancellations yesterday. As Jared Hill explains, at least one airline is pointing the finger at the FAA. The Providence High School singers practiced and stretched to kill time while stranded at LAX. Their connecting flight to Newark was canceled, though they've been rebooked on new flights to get to their choir tour in Ireland. We've all been really patient, thankfully, and we've been trying to make the best out of this. Similar scenes played out in airports across the Northeast since the weekend, with severe storms stranding thousands. According to the flight tracking website FlightAware, more than 2,000 flights were canceled yesterday in the U.S. and another 7,000 delayed. We sat on the tarmac for four hours um, and then got here. We were able to get a rental car, but we waited for like three and a half hours. United Airlines says 150,000 of its customers have been affected. In a message to employees, the company's CEO slammed the Federal Aviation Administration's decision to cancel flights in the Newark region, claiming the severe weather is something the FAA has historically been able to manage. The FAA has recently struggled with a shortage of air traffic controllers. The FAA is speaking to this and, and stands ready to work with companies to address any issues they're facing. This all comes as AAA predicts record-breaking travel volume over the long 4th of July weekend, with more than 4 million Americans expected to fly to their destinations. Jared Hill, CBS News.